Supply chain coaching. What is it and how do you access it? That's what we're going to be talking about this week coming right up. So welcome back to Trent Morris, uh, always very popular here on Supply Chain Secrets. Thank you for joining us, Trent. My pleasure, Rob. Uh, now, one of the things you're, you're kind of known on the channel and within Logistics Bureau as being a bit of a procurement expert and ocean freight and outsourcing, uh, but you've actually been heading up for the last few years uh, our coaching programs. So we haven't talked about that on here before. So maybe we can tell people a little bit about, you know, what is a supply chain coach and who does it suit and how do they access it and what are some of the benefits? Sure, sure. Okay, well, if, I guess if we start at the start, a supply chain coach, like any other coach, is, is really designed to help a company maximise the performance of their supply chain. Um, it can involve a number of different aspects uh, of the work experience, whether it be guidance around something that is unknown, uh, optimising a process that is known but is, is uh, not performing as well as it could. And even uh, in some cases, we can help uh, senior management train and bring up uh, junior management so that they can actually start preparing the next generation of leaders. Um, so that's kind of what coaching is. It's it, it multifaceted. Uh, we do it with a lot of organisations. It's a principal offering to the small and medium enterprise arena uh, where we do a lot with organisations who can't afford an experienced supply chain manager or director uh, but are still needing the skills and experience that one uh, that that person can bring to the organisation. But we also do it a lot for organisations that are likely looking to build a new functional area within the business and don't have the wherewithal in the current resources to actually do that work. Uh, so, for example, you might be looking at setting up a procurement function or you might be looking at building a more effective logistics team. Well, the coaching actually provides the experience that you need to, to get that at a cost that's far more reasonable for small to medium enterprise. That being said, we also do a lot of work with large enterprise um, to in that same vein, but more along the lines of, you know, they don't want to put on a full-time project manager or they don't want to put on a, a full-time uh, resource. And so we actually provide that arrangement whereby we can come in as required and we can coach them through the process of developing a new function, uh, a new service, or even maybe doing feasibility studies and things of that nature, uh, which take take some time, um, but they don't need a full time headcount to do that work for them. Okay, that that's great. And and maybe just to make sure people really understand this, because our, our sort of day job is is full time management consulting. So if I picked a, a typical sort of project for us, maybe helping someone through a logistics outsourcing process, um, we can kind of do it all for them. You know, we'll, mm. we'll help them source suppliers and manage all the requests for a proposal and draft it all and all that kind of stuff. But in your coaching role, you're really helping the client staff do that. And you're literally just looking over their shoulder and guiding them how to do all of this themselves. Is that right? Uh, exactly right. So, you know, as a part of our, our approach, yes, we can absolutely do those things. But the challenge quite often is there's no not necessarily any effective knowledge transfer. And, and one of the things that guides us as an organisation is that we actually want the entire industry to rise. And so we do a lot of work in that area. And Supply Chain Secrets is a great example of that, where we do pass on enough knowledge that people can do it themselves. And so by having a coaching situation, we can actually work with a client, with their team, and we can teach them how to do the work and how to, to, to set things up so that they are successful without having to pay the large consulting fees uh, that are sometimes required. Yeah, sometimes our clients do want us just to come in and do the work, and that's mm. fine as well. But once again, it's it's good to be able to get in there and, and, and help the, the team that's in place know how to do the work themselves. And we can just fine tune it along the way to make sure that, you know, that they're not falling into any of the pitfalls that we might have mm. fallen into when we were more junior leaders within the industry. So I, I've been watching you do these, and the, you know these, these are cropping up all the, all the time in between your major consulting assignments. I, you, you, you've been doing coaching in Hawaii, um, a couple, I think. Where, where yeah. else have you been doing this? Uh, I, had, I have done quite a few. I've done yeah. some in Hawaii, as you said. Yeah. That was 
that was one of the first actually and mm. proved how successful it could be yeah. uh that that was actually a major civil engineering company who yeah. were looking at setting up a procurement department yeah. and that went exceptionally well uh, i've done some work in e-commerce uh, i've done i've done work in in uh, vietnam and thailand yeah. Uh, I've currently got an assignment in uh, in New Zealand, yeah. um, and we also offer sort of a, um, a, a, a just a brief chat sort of arrangement yeah. to help people work out whether or not this is something from them. And quite often, it, you know, it's not necessary. Um, but you know, we we you know we've had uh, queries from Pakistan, we've had them from yeah. mainland America, uh, or mainland USA, yeah. uh, and all over the all over the world really. Um, in fact, I'm, I've got a couple at the moment that I'm I'm a couple of people I'm talking to at the moment in in North Queensland who are involved in mining and and oh, yeah. uh, and construction etc. So yeah. very broad. And the good thing about supply chain is it 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 is relatively agnostic. Once you have some experience in one area, that usually relatively easily translates to another industry. Um, and so we can help organizations, as I said, avoid the pitfall whilst they've got their own technical knowledge that we may not have because we haven't worked in their specific industry. Yeah, oh, that's great. So uh, how, how do people find a supply chain coach? And, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be careful here. We don't run this channel just to plug our consulting services. I mean, if you want to talk to, to Trent, we'll put a link down below the video. But what, what are some of the other ways that people could find a supply chain coach? Could they could they network through uh, industry bodies and things like that? Where, where do these people hang out? Uh, absolutely. I think, and, and you know, that's, a, that's a great point. Industry bodies are a great place to start. You know, somewhere like the you know, Supply Chain Association of Australia in, in the our case of where, where we are. Um, you yeah, know, there's a lot of very experienced supply chain people. Um, the other area, obviously, is is LinkedIn, which is possibly, a, you know, one of the, which is a fantastic resource if used well. Um, and often you just, it's as simple as putting in supply chain coach um, into the into the search bar. For me personally, the, the way that uh, that people find us is obviously through through Google searches. You know, if, if someone types in supply chain coach, you know, it, we logistics bureau would come up um, as one of the potential organisations that they could turn to. And so, typically, it is through some sort of electronic search or a digital search like like Google or LinkedIn. Um, but I, I love industry bodies. I find them uh, incredibly uh, very easy to work with, and they've always been able to make great recommendations on who you can turn to for assistance in that area. Oh, that's, that's very, very useful. So do your Google search, have a look around, and, and, and if you're desperate and you can't find one, well, you might have to talk to Trent. <laughs> we'll put his link down below. But uh, thanks, Trent. I, I know um, our clients find it immensely useful, and um, it's been a great service that you've been providing for a few years. So just a, oh, a different turn you. on things, you know. It's, I, th I think it's a really good way of companies having access to some expertise without a huge cost, and, and they can develop their own people as well. No, absolutely. I agree. Excellent. Thanks for joining us. And thank you all for watching. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.